Welcome to this calc lesson on index and match. Index and match are two powerful lookup functions which you can use to find the value of any cell in a table. Match will search through a row or column for an item, then return the relative index number of the item. For example, I've got a drop down with some products in this table here. I'll type into F3 equals match, press enter. The first parameter is the search criterion. That's E3, the item I'm searching for. Then a comma. Next parameter is the lookup array, which are the products in column A. So I drag and highlight A2 to A8, a comma. Next parameter is the type. If it's 1, which is the default, it wants the array in ascending order. It returns the last value that is smaller or equal to the search criterion. If it's set to minus 1, it wants the array in descending order and will return the last value that's larger or equal to the search criterion. If it's 0, it's looking for an exact match. That's what I want. So a zero for the last parameter. Usually when you use match, you're looking for an exact match. So most of the time this will be zero. Press enter. Now as you can see, it returns the relative index of the item within the array. Coffee grinder is the sixth row down in the array of products I selected. Match can be used in functions that have an index parameter, like VLOOKUP. Here I have another drop-down with the products from the table. And here, under BRAND, I'll use VLOOKUP to find the brand. So type equals VLOOKUP, ENTER. First parameter is the search criterion. That's the drop-down in A11. So click A11, then press Shift F4 to lock it. You'll see why in a minute. Comma. Next is the array. So drag and highlight the whole table without the field names. I'm going to press Shift F4 to lock it. Comma. The index. This is how many columns from the left. Rather than typing it in, match can find it for me. So type match, then press enter. First parameter is the search criterion. I'm searching for the field header, brand. So I click B10, comma. Next parameter is the lookup array. That'll be the field names in the table. So I drag and highlight A1 to C1. I'll lock it by pressing Shift F4, comma, then the type. I want an exact match, so this is zero. Click after the parentheses for the match function. Type a comma to get to the sort order parameter in VLOOKUP. The table is unsorted, so type a zero. Press Enter, and there's the brand. Now drag the fill handle over to the price column, and we have the price too. In the VLOOKUP function, match was used to match the field headers in row 10 with the relative field headers in row 1 of the table, and returned the index number of the columns. I made the references to A11 and the table data absolute, so I could copy the formula over to the price column. Match can do even more amazing things when you combine it with index. Index takes the index of a cell in a row or column and returns the value in the cell. For example, I'll use index here to find various items in the product column by putting in their index numbers. In E6, I type equals index enter. The first parameter is the reference. This is the range of cells that contain the items I'm looking up. So I drag and highlight A2 to A8, 
comma, the rest of the parameters are optional, but you'll always use at least one of the next two. Row is the index of the row for the reference range. The next is column, which is the index of the column for the reference range. I'm using row in this example, so I'll type a 3 in row, press enter, and there's the coffee maker. It's the third row down in the reference range. Now if I double click on the cell and change the row parameter to 5 and press enter, it returns the mixer. I'll click the cell and press delete and show you how it works with columns. I'll type equals, index, enter. First parameter, I'll drag and highlight A1 to C1. A comma, I'm looking up a column so I don't need the row parameter. So I type another comma. In column, I'll put 2. Then press enter, and there's brand from the second column. Now I'll delete it again and use both row and column this time. Type equals, index, enter, drag and highlight the whole table this time. Comma, I'll put two for the row, comma, then two for the column, then press enter. And there's GE, second row, second column. So when you use index in combination with match, you can find anything in a table. Remember VLOOKUP has the limitation that it looks up items counting from the leftmost column. So what if you wanted to look up something in the leftmost column of a table? Use index and match together. So here's how it works. I have a table with model numbers in the first column then product, brand, and price in the next columns. Here I have a drop-down with products, and I want to look up their model numbers. So in B11, I type equals, index, press enter. I'm using index to find the model number. So I'll drag and highlight the model number column, A2 to B8, Comma, next parameter is the row. Here's where match comes in. Type match, press enter. Now match is going to be used to find the index of the product. So the first parameter is the search criterion. That's the product from the drop-down in A11. Click A11, comma, next parameter is the lookup array. That's the product column, so I'll drag and highlight B2 to B8, comma. I want an exact match, so a zero for the type. Press enter, and there it is, the serial number of the toaster oven. I can change the drop-down to look up any product serial number. Match found the index of the product in column B, then indexed use the index of the match to find the serial number in column A. Index and match can look up anything in a column or row, unlike VLOOKUP. So as you can see, index and match together make a powerful pair. Happy searching! That's all for this time. Thanks for watching!